Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose, and this is your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, April 20th. Happy 420 to all my stoner friends. Um, you know, have some fun today, celebrate it. Um, if you listen to, ba if you watch or listen to Bailey Sarian, she's a really cool dark history about cannabis, and I think it would be really interesting to watch today. Um, actually and then today is also tourist season sorry so happy birthday to all of my tourists oh i love that for you guys that 420 is on tour is the start of tourist season like most of my tourist friends i know love the marijuana so what a great way for you guys to celebrate your birthday coming seriously um so Back to numbers and cards. We have the 20th today. So again, we have the number two coming up talking about balance and our intuition. It's, you know, having no fear. It's high priestess energy that came up yesterday to really help us sift and sort through what's going on and have this, you know, strength within us to move forward with balance, with clarity, right? With, you know, comfortable making these decisions that are going to, again, align us with what we want to do in our life. So I love this energy today, and we also have, so the cards we have are, oh, look at that, ooh, like that, we have the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands, and then at the bottom, ooh, at the bottom we have the Star, the Ten of Cups, and Death. And I really enjoy this because it's like you stepping in your power, having everything and be, having all these blessings and the people around you when you step into this balance allows you to let that all, the rest go, right? This heartbreak, this sadness, this grief, this loss that we've been experiencing, you know, this being too stuck on the small little details and not having fun in life because something's hurt us before. That's what we're allowing to let go today. And that's what this three of swords is here to kind of talk about because though we're moving forward, I feel like there are some of us that still want to hold on a little and that's okay. We're human. Changing, making changes and moving out of the comfort zone is uncomfortable and we kind of want to go back to what we know, right? That's like, you know, making a career move and in the midst of the move, you're like, mm, I don't know, maybe it wasn't that bad before. Like maybe I can go on, maybe I can go back and I can do it again and it won't, you know, it won't produce the same results. But the thing is, it's most likely going to because you made that change because you knew you didn't like it anymore and you feel this way now because you're out of the situation, right? And now your brain kind of can make up new scenarios, make up new thoughts that that maybe try to bring you back because all of this change is a little uncomfortable. All of this change is pushing you to show up in a new way, is pushing you to transform some thoughts, is pushing you to release any old expectations, any old beliefs, you know, about what you're doing and what you're learning and what you're going after, right? And it has maybe has to... Maybe it's pushing you to also release the, you know, the worries of how others are going to perceive you because maybe you're showing up in a different way, right? Maybe you were really successful doing what you were doing and, you know, it just didn't make you happy. You had everything you wanted, but you were still like sad on the inside, right? You still weren't fulfilling that desire within you and now you're doing something different. Maybe you're not making as much money. Maybe you don't have as much recognition as you did in your other job and it doesn't really seem as cool to other people or to, you know, your peers in your community and you're worried that others are going to look at you differently. But in that is pushing you to still just have that confidence in yourself and is pushing you to stand by and honor who you are authentically. Cause I, so again, I still feel like this is what, you know, these cards are really talking to us about today. You know, honor who you are authentically to show up and accept the challenge, accept the change, you know, accept that you're going to stand in yourself and your power in a new way. And you are going to allow yourself to be happy. You are allow yourself, you're going to allow yourself to dream. You're going to allow yourself to start this new beginning and to have fun with life because we haven't been having fun because we've been sit, we've been sitting in this grief. We've been sitting in this sadness. We've been sitting in this rainy day energy. I mean, and we're in April right now, so it has been raining. Let me tell you, especially with this Neptune and Pisces and Jupiter conjunction happening right now. Um, 
because that's bringing a lot of water. I mean, like it, Jupiter is expansion and Neptune is water. So we are expanding already. So again, these emotions are definitely going to be coming up right now because it is something that we really need to push through to get through, to get pushed through, to get to this new chapter where again, we're not going to be able to get there bringing old thoughts, old beliefs into a new space. This is a new space, a new chapter, right? With new characters, new plot lines, new stories. And as you know, when you think of it, a video game or even a movie, your character has to develop, right? And so we're developing, we're transforming, we're allowing these things to happen. And we're, we're embracing this new chapter because this three of wands is, you know, new beginnings. This is looking out to all the space that is created once we let go of these, you know, this sadness, this heartbreak, this hurt. And we can finally see the space that's in front of us. We can finally see the happiness and the joy that we have when we're aligned with our purpose. When we make the decision for ourselves to be happy, right? When we make the decisions for ourselves to start over and start new. So we could be traveling, we could be moving, we could be making the decision on where we want to travel or where we want to move. We can be, you know, making the decision that I'm going to have fun with my life and I'm going to communicate what I really want to do. And I'm going to communicate my purpose in a new way because I thought I knew what my purpose was then, but I have a much deeper understanding of what it is now. And that's what I'm going to build within this space, right? Because the year is 2022 and 22 is the number of the builder. So we have opportunity to tap into that energy and really build the life that we see for ourselves, really build the life that is built from our creativity, from our free expression, from our understanding of ourselves and allowing it all to balance out, right? So when we add these up together, we have three plus three equals six. And today is an opportunity to really, again, bring in that balance. Two is the number as well. Bring in that balance, have love for yourself, be heart, uh, er, two, is, two is balance, but also a six because it's about peace and harmony, right? And it's about creating a space with those things in mind. So take advantage of this opportunity today to really put yourself in the right direction and let go of what is keeping you in the old one. So we're not going there anymore. These things that we're holding on to, that was then goals. And we got these goals. We got now goals, okay? So that's where I'm going to leave it. I love you guys. I hope you have a great Wednesday and a happy 420. Um, you can check out my website. That's ashleyrose.com. If you want to just see what I got going on, book a tarot reading. Um, check out, check me out on Instagram. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. The links are in the description box for those. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys tomorrow on the Daily Tarot Reading.